Time stood still for me as I played, working out strategies designed to tie my opponent into a knot. I was a master of time, space, and motion in my own intensely private universe. If I hadn't played for money, I wouldn't have been the world-class player that I am. What was wonderful about Marty Reisman, apart from his having the most wonderful game, was that he was a hustler. He brought to table tennis a way of being. And he should have been, and, and was in my opinion, in his own time, the, the very best player in the world. my racket. It's not in pristine shape, but this is my Stradivarius. Uh, the racket's about seven years old. You've got to have musculature in order to make the stroke. So you direct the racket along a given path. In other words, this is the part of the arm that has to be built up, you see. I mean, not that it's a weightlifter's arm, but it's design, you know, to swing that racket as rapidly as I can. Uh, two spectacular events coming up. One is playing against um, someone we call the Tasmanian Devil, Japanese player, very highly rated. <laughs> It's going to be truly a spectacular game, but uh, I think I have the technique that's going to totally overwhelm him. My second match is against uh, Trevor Runyon. The match is going to be played at the Plaza Hotel. 20-year-old Trevor is young enough to be my great-grandchild. This is not for publication, but I think I'm just going to wrap him up. It's going to be a $100,000 bet on the match. I'm uh, 78 years old and I'm just, just itching for a real money game.